Hey everyone and welcome back to VFX Vibe once again. So in today's video, we are going to see how we can use lens distortion workflow inside Mocha and how we can export that distortion data to Nuke. Yes, today we are going to see what will be the workflow of lens distortion in Mocha to Nuke. Before starting, if you want to follow this work along with me, if you want this footage, you have to go to our website, which is www.vfxvibe.com and you can download this footage along with all files used in this particular example and you can start working alongside with me. So without any delay, let's get started. So as you can see over here, I have Mocam open and if I'm going to play it, as you can see, I have a very good amount of distortion. So first thing first, we need to figure it out how we can eliminate distortion, right? And by the way, if you want to know Mocha in detail, so already I have made four videos in this series, you can go and start watching one by one. I'll put link in the description or I'll put link in the card as well. So here, as you can see, by default, my track tab has been selected here. I have another type called lens. So I'm going to lens and here we have multiple things to do. Let's see one by one. So first thing first, you have to click on locate lines. What will do automatically? It will start identifying which line should in straight mode, right? So I'm going to click on locate multiple lines has been created, right? So if you want to reduce the line, you want only straight line. So what you have to do, you have to increase the value like somewhat, I feel 60 or 75 might be good candidate, right? So only I have few straight lines. So what I'm going to do after doing that, if you're satisfied with your result, so what next you have to do, you have to find out straight lines. As I can see over here, uh, this line is straight, this line is straight, this line is straight, right? So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to create new line, right? So I, once I'm going to click and I have to select straight lines as I'm assuming that this line should be straight. As you can see, my green line has created. Now Mocha will understand this line should be straight, right? Once your first line is created, you have to click again on new line and you have to select another one. Probably I'll select this one and this one. So as I can see, I have straight line. If you want to create new line again, you have to create new line. Keep it in mind, right? So might be this time I'll select this, I'll select this and I'll select this. So this will be my straight line. So my line has been created. Now what you have to do, you have to select what kind of distortion or undistortion you want. So here we have no distortion, right? So what you have to do, just select one of them. Normally one parameter and two parameter will work fine. One parameter will work for barrel distortion and two parameter will uh, follow the fish eye kind of effect or might be pin cushion distortion. It will work on uh, that. Remaining are like inverted of one parameter and then anamorphic distortion map and equirectangular uh, kind of stuff you want. So this case, I'm going to use one parameter and after selecting one parameter, I have equidistant line and calibrate centers. In this case, I'm not going to use it. So I'm going to calibrate. So probably you are uh, not seeing any kind of uh, changes. So what you have to do, you have to click on this button, render current frame and it's working pretty fine. Now you can see I have my undistorted plate, right? So this is the way how we can calculate and see your distortion. And again, I, I want to make a one note. If your distortion is not coming the way you want, so probably you have to change the K1 option values and you have to recalculate it or recalibrate it again, right? So, but in this case, it's working fine for me, right? I have done it for last frame. If you want on any other frame, just you have to click over here and just you have to go on that particular frame and you have to click on render current frame, right? So now you are having your undistorted plate. Now, if you want to track this data, right? Again, I have to track it and I have to replace things. So what I'm going to do, I'm going over here in tracking mode and I'm going to select my spline and I'm going to select some area to track, right? Something like that, right click. Probably I will adjust it because this leaf is moving. So I'm not going to track it. So probably this will be the good 
thing and i'm going to uh, check perspective as well in that particular case if perspective is shifting on then for that case so after that what i'm going to do i'm going to hit track forward and i'll come back once it's done okay my tracking has been done and i will cross check if it's sliding or not but in this case i'm not seeing any kind of drifting and just to check i'm going to switch on my planar grid and i'm going to switch on my show planar surface right so as you can see over here i am having my grid bended because i have used lens distortion information so i'll go to frame number first and i'm going to zoom it and let's adjust our corners so probably uh, already i have discussed mil multiple times so you can go and you can check my previous videos and now you can see my grid is following my curvature right so i think this is all good and if you want to check anything you can go over here and insert clip and you can use logo probably and if you'll see it's working pretty fine the distortion is working pretty fine now the main thing how you can export your tracking data as well how you can export your distortion data right let's export distortion data first so i'll go to lens tab and here we have export lens data so just click over here and you have to export two data one is for undistortion and another one for redistortion right so i'm going to select undistorted I'll leave as it is and this will be the directory where I want to export my data and keep it in mind the data will be exported as a ST map right so I'm going to choose it so I'm going to export my undistortion I'll save it one more time I'm going to export it distortion data I'll save it one more time because I don't need to change prefix because already it has detected what will be the distortion and what will be the undistortion I'll save it right after that I have to go to track and I have to export tracking data. So just you have to click on export track and you have to choose new corner pin. And most important thing, you have to select remove lens distortion. If you are not going to click it, your distortion data won't be calculated in tracking, right? So you have to click it and you have to either you can do copy to clipboard or you can save it. So I'm going to copy to clipboard and I'll jump to new. So we are here in Nuke, as you can see, same footage I'm having right so here i'm going to paste it control v my tracking data because i have copied to clipboard and i'm going to import my distortion and undistortion data as well so let me do that okay here i have my uh, distortion map and undistortion map right so as you know this is my distorted plate so what i have to do i have to take a node called st map and source will be this my main plate will be source and st map will be this and if i'm going to see through nothing will happen some some weird thing will happen so what i have to do in st map i have to change uv channels to rgb and as you can see it's all perfectly fine but you are getting some stretch right so what you have to do now you have to take a node called black outside it's all up to you and just add it so what will happen whatever distortion we are getting we will have black outside and now we are having good thing right so apart from that if you want to add anything like uh, if i'm going to take checkerboard and i'm going to connect it so what will happen something this kind of uh, stuff will happen and if i'm going to use merge node see what will happen so it won't match because if you can see it i am having my over scan data over here right so first thing first you need to reformat it right so how we can do that just take a reformat node and add it after st map and here you have to use two format and resize tab should be none so what will happen automatically will be fit and if i'm going to see it through it my data has been placed perfectly fine but it's undistorted data later on what you have to do you have to add your distortion back right so how we can do that again i'll use this map take st map one more time and i can connect my source and i can connect my st map over here and now i'm going to use uv channel to rgb again i'm having this kind of distortion data right so again i have to use reformat node and this should be this and i'm going to use none right but again i'm having my stretch data so what you have to do 
in reformat in first reformat you have to use preserve bounding box so as you are going to use preserve bounding box your everything will be fit and fine right so same way what i have done i have created one plate so i want to remove this plate right so in photoshop as you can see over i have created one more plate right so yeah you, i have some text over here some uh, arrow added few grunge maps so let me import it in nuke and let's see how we can uh, fix it okay so i'll be needing my clean plate first because i need to clean it up first thing first i'm going to add my clean up right if i'm going to connect it it looks pretty weird because i don't want my full information i just want this much information right so what i'm going to do i'm going to take a roto node and i'll go to last frame because i have calculated my lens distortion on last frame it's not mandatory but uh, i'm doing it so let's select the area which you want to replace and i'm going to use a merge node and operation will be mask right and i have added my tracking data and i have added on top of this but problem is coming right let's fix it first thing first transparency is coming so what i have to do just double click and use auto alpha and after that we have to fix the area the proportion right so as you can see over here if i am adding my checkerboard it's working pretty fine but if i'm using this area it's not working pretty fine because what it's doing it's just considering my four corners as a corner pin but i have no data not a single data in these areas right so how we can fix it let me control c and control v for a safer side and just go to your corner pin you have to go to from and you have to copy to it will be fit but uh, as you can see your tracking won't done so here little trick you need to do no animation no animation no animation and no animation and once you'll jump to corner pin 2d automatically you can see your tracking is working pretty fine so here something is remaining so what i'm going to do let's go to last frame and let's adjust our points so that the later won't come don't worry i'll add my uh this leaf again i have my roto so once your clean plate is done so another thing you have to do you have to use this thing right so again in in against of this i want this right so let's take a pre melt node and let's connect it so as you can see this thing is we have and before doing my distortion or redistortion i have to add this data right back first thing first i added my undistortion i added my clean plate now i have to add my new graphics so same way i have to do that so probably i'll do this and it might possible i can go over here and from i can use copy to and same way i can use no animation no animation no animation and no animation right and in merge i can merge it something like that and let's jump to this thing and if i'm going to see through this merge easily you can see i am having my board or sign board replaced and let's buffer it and you can see easily you cannot identify ki what was the real one right so hopefully you are understanding this thing in a very uh, good way and after everything i am going to redistort it as i showed you earlier right so as you can see my redistortion has been done and if i am going to compare this with my original one so this was my original one and and this is my replaced one so one more problem is coming this leaf is missing and again uh, some kind of hard edge is coming right so what i am going to do i am going to take a edge blur right and i am going to connect it and let's blur some area something like that and also i have roto of this particular leaf so i can use it so i have my leaf over here so i'm going to copy it and let's add over here i have my roto and i'm going to connect it something like that leaf and let's merge it on top of everything before redistortion i have connected it right so i have my leaf but again as you can see i'm not getting it properly so what you have to do just go to here and just click on auto alpha right it might possible i need to set this roto 
so yes let's adjust it something like that and automatically i need to work but you have an idea right and if i'm going to play it let's see what will happen so my holding has been replaced and my lens distortion has been reapplied on this thing and i hope you are getting it in a very good way that we can calculate distortion inside mocha and we can track that data and again we can export both data for nuke and here in nuke we can do whatever we want so hopefully this video will be very helpful to you to understand the lens distortion process from mocha to nuke and if you want my footage my com file and mocha file for your practice purposes if you want to practice along with me just go to my website www wavexvibe.com full project you can download from my website so i'm hoping this video will be very helpful to you and if you think that this video is very helpful to you don't forget to like this video share this video and if you're new to this channel don't forget to subscribe also don't forget to visit my website with this said this is wavexvibe signing off have a good day